Hey guys, it's Ellen here. Today we're doing ink and wash watercolor pelican. Yes, uh, this is from a reference that I took on my recent travels. I go over this step by step how to draw it and paint it. If you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable. If you're not a Patreon member, you can go check it out um, right here. It's where I have ad free videos, traceables, and exclusive tutorials on Thursdays. It's a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorial is up. And let's get painting. Okay, so if you're a Patreon member, like I said, you can download the traceable. And here's the photograph I'm going to attach to if you're a Patreon member. But for people who aren't on Patreon, i um, quickly going to show you how I would draw the pelican. You always think of things in terms of shapes. So here's, this, here's the actual frame of the picture. And then we have the pelican standing on the um, post here. I have like two here, just rectangles here, a little square in here, All right? And then we're gonna draw these little lines going down. So think of him in terms of shapes. I wanna say you wanna start with the little feet here. They're gonna be coming here so you can figure out where you're gonna put the body. So the two lines from the post going this way. And then you just a little web feet, web feet. And then from here, you're gonna draw his little, like a curved, like an egg shape almost. See, there's the there's a little body. <laughs> so it's curved and the curve going this way. And there's a line here. And then it's kind of like, a, like an S shape. So you're gonna curve up like an S and bring it down. And that's his little pelican head. And then pull it back up, pull it back down. It's a little goofy, but see, wiggle here, and then the wiggle here. And that's kind of the pelican. You know, and then we have the land mass, you know, which you basically you just paint back here. The beach, the land mass. And there you go. And then there's a there's a beach here. There's a sand. So sandbar here. But I'll show you that as I go along. And the landmass is just greenery. You just kind of whipping it in there. So again, for the body for the silicon, it's this little smiley on the side, kind of metered in the middle, right? Then you can do this little S and bring it down, bring it up. My little feet. <laughs> Kind of like that. Um, you can also just uh, download what a pelican looks like standing on, a, you know, a, a pile or something on the internet, and you can see what I'm talking about. So I wanted to do this in a pen and ink kind of fashion. I have my Sharpie Fine Ultra Fine Point Pen here. I taped this. Uh, the, uh, this is six by nine or six by seven inch piece of paper of arched 100 percent cotton paper i have my trace on there when people ask what kind of tape i use i use this scotch magic tape i like it people don't like it that's fine i like it i just tape it down blah 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 and i have it all my like i said my sketch already drawn here but we're going to use this first this is the sharpie uh 100 100 bleh ultra fine point I can't speak today so I'm just gonna basically kind of trace him you know I want this to be a fun easy simple tutorial so you have your sketch already drawn out and then you're gonna to take your pen and you're just gonna go over like some of your lines that you did and his little feet his little web feet see it doesn't have to be perfect and you know what's great about drawing on this paper is you're gonna have imperfections in the lines because it's kind of a has a tooth to it and that's what we're looking for we're looking for like the sketchy kind of look we can sit there and we can draw a perfect and we can paint a perfect looking pelican but it's fun to get the little nubs of the spaces in between and I might go back in and use my um, my pen and ink pen that has you know the fountain pen it has a little nib it makes a nice thicker lines but I start off with this one it gives me like a a way to gauge where I want the color to go and whatnot. So I'm just going to go in and draw the little pelican again. Here's like that smiley kind of side shape. 
and then again up here, going down into it, and then I have these feathers, right, I'll just go like this, and then here's this little neck, like I showed you, this is a little tighter than the one I showed you, mine was a little goofy, but just pull it in a little tighter, you can just do with the pencil first and then come back in, see, just like that, like I showed you. And then the head part comes here, and there's like a little white space here on the neck. And there's a little eye, a little dot, right there. And see how it just looks like a rough sketch? You can go back in and add a little more feathers if you want to do that. And then with the post, um, I don't know if you call it post, but the thing, sorry, my lighting is going a little crazy. I think that he's standing on looks like it's you know this is a photograph that I took from my trip to Florida recently if you follow me on IG you would see that I didn't take my big camera I just used my phone I didn't want to carry all that stuff it was just a little getaway in a, in a private home that my family owns my brother owns so it wasn't meant to be like a barrel vacation it was just a little getaway so there we go I'm just sketching in like that see I'm just kind of like these real lines see I'm just my hand is just doing this gesture where it's like you can hear it see rough sketching kind of around the square part you put a little darker and indicates the shadow. So you're drawing that shadow in. Yeah. Now you could do, you don't have to do the ink part for the background. I might, since I already did it in here, I'll just put it in. It's up to you. See where the landmass is. There was like a little house or something over here, just like a rectangle. I'm sure there's tons of palm trees, but you know, from far away, you're not going to see them. I did see a dolphin this day. Yep, that yeah, was kind of fun. See, I'm just going to go across here. So, like in the sketch, so you got the pelican in here. He's standing on this lovely little hole here and then you're just drawing one line here kind of like one fourth down one line across kind of where his feet are another one across from that that's one little, little like one fourth inch and then like another one that gets like a an inch to a half inch across that but you want to do those little wiggles voila see simple and that is like the guide and then from there, we can go in and paint all our fun stuff, right? You can erase all those pencil marks you had at the beginning. I use a kneaded eraser. Go and grab this little gum kneaded er gum eraser, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my brain is functioning very low today, as you can tell. <laughs> I slept like a rock. I slept way too many hours, and I don't know, maybe I'm just tired crazy usually I don't sleep that long but I slept a lot today so I feel like I'm just waking up still okay there we go he's drawing it now we're gonna just put it we're gonna wash in color and that's the beauty of doing the pen and ink you know you're just washing in color afterwards so at this point I'm gonna grab some brushes I have my Princeton 8 long round well, this, is a, this is the one I don't like I'll grab the other one see I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to fix them but here's the nicer one I might use the four, but I don't think so. I don't think I need it. And I love my ground backer because it's kind of a wider, rounder brush up here. So in my photograph, it has a pretty like boring gray sky here, but I can change it to whatever I want. I do have the aqua water here and the sand kind of here. There's a sandbar here, you know, and this part is white, the white beach sand, and this part's green. So we're gonna just wash in color at this point. So get some water, the sky. I could play around with the sky and the ground. So the sky, I'm gonna play around with the with the water first. And it's pretty aqua. So I've got my peacock blue. 
right? Right here. I'll add some cadmium yellow deep to that and it makes it look green aqua color. Because that's what the water look like. I'll add a little more blue to that. I do like to test it sometimes on my paper towel. Yeah, that's pretty turquoisey. I can add a little more blue. I don't necessarily have to go by the photograph. So I'm just going to wash in that color where it's supposed to go. Wet on dry. This turquoise watercolor. This would be a great um, greeting card for Father's Day. A gift to somebody who lives in somewhere tropical or to somebody who likes pelicans and tropical or beach kind of thing. So I have just a solid line color here. You can go and add some deeper colors um, and grab some more of the peacock and the yellow. Get a little bit darker still, see that? You can kind of put that wash on top here. Just like that. I'm just going to play around. And then here, like I said, this part is like a, like a sand color. And there's a little wash of color down here. You could put like a little aqua down here on the bottom. But the most of this is going to be sand color. So I've got my burnt umber. And I'll put some water to that. You can add a little yellow if you want. That color itself is almost like sand color. And then move my yellow. And I'll just wash that color in. We're making this simple, folks. We don't want to make this super hard for people who are just starting out. The drawing might seem a little difficult. Just kind of practice doing that like half moon, eggy kind of shape, and then this curve for his head. But you can always just download a picture of Elegant, shrink it down, just have him sitting on like a pier post. I don't know what they actually call them, pile post. So we got the solid color. We're just, put, we're just washing in some color right now. We can add in um, deeper colors in a bit. The pelican's going to be gray, bluish gray. So like I said, this is the white part and then this is the green here. I'm going to put in some green. So I've got the cadmium yellow deep. I'll grab some peacock blue. I've got this really pretty green, more yellow. All right, and then we can add Prussian blue to this to make it deep green. I think the background was a mixture of like light and dark greens. Not really light, but more dark, medium greens. And I want to make it brighter. The photograph that I had looks really dark and gray. And I don't care about the photograph. You don't have to follow the photograph. You can do whatever you want. So I'll put in some greens. This is again, this is wet on dry. I'll add some Prussian blue to make it a little bit darker. In some parts and I'll add some more yellow to make it brighter. See? I'll do a combination of the two. I want it light and bright. I'm going to change my whole look of the guy in the background to make it pretty. I don't necessarily need to have it be dark. So I just kind of put the light color on the bottom here. I'll put some of the dark on top. Play around with adding some browns, some more Prussian blue. See, taking the grumbacker, I'm just kind of pushing to you. I'm just kind of whacking it around. Do, 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 do. Give the illusion of like the foliage. Not this one straight kind of movement. Add some more yellow to this. I would add a little yellow to the top like the sun's hitting it. Just like that. It doesn't have to be this perfect looking foliage. See that? Zoom in. I just kind of wiggle in the brush around the pelican. And then in some spots you can grab some just straight out Prussian blue from the tube. A little yellow. So it's thicker. You know, a little brown. 
it's not going to bleed as much. I'm just kind of see. I'm just kind of pushing that paint around, just like that. A little blue. Just gives it more interest. My side, my sound effects. See, just like that. I'll clean up my brush. This is fairly dry. You can go back in with the darker tone of the aqua. Put that in. I had a little bit darker up here. You can put in some little lines to indicate it's water, even though you know it's kind of water, but just like little lines like this. And you get a little bit darker with your color too, if you want to. I added some of these greens that I had here with my peacock blue up in here just to get a little bit darker still. We're keeping it light and bright, like I said. Okay, for the pelican body, like I said, he's kind of like in the gray blue tones. There's a little yellow up in here and a little eye. Um, I have all these beautiful grays over here. <laughs> Basically, this one's brown, get rid of it. But Payne's gray, kind of here, mixed with some blue, you know. We have some blacks. I like to mix the blue with the gray. So I'll mix some Prussian blue. So it's a bluish gray. Kind of tap it on my paper towel. Now we don't want to get too heavy too soon. This, give it a nice simple wash of gray in first, bluish gray. The pelican, and we'll come back in and we'll add the dark one down the bottom. Over here is much darker. This part right here will get really dark. Remember they have this little white stripe here. If you forget to do that, you can go and add some gouache to it later. And this is coming out a little more blue. A little gray, blackish gray. Just like that. You could just kind of bleed in a little bit dark gray down here. Mine's looking a little more bluish gray, but that's fine. While you still have the grays, we can play around with this highland that it's sitting on. So wash in some of that color. Again, I want a little more gray. It was looking a little too blue. And see how we, that we already had made that dark shadow with the pen. We're just gonna reiterate that the dark color. I'm going to wash down some lighter gray. Put it over here. And in here. Just fill this in. And we can add in some darker grays afterwards. See, it's already looking cute. Just going to wash this whole gray in here. And I'll go in and add in the deeper tones in a bit. There you go. So um, I'm going to take my prince number eight. There's like a little yellow on the top, like yellow beige on the top of him. So I'll flip this around. I'll add my yellow to that sandy beige color I had over here. Or you just take your cabin yellow deep and add a little brown to it. So we've got this pretty kind of yellow color up here. It's a little bit down by the eye. I don't have to go for perfection on this. I don't care. I'm just going to kind of give the in indication of what I saw. Also, this part is gray too. You want to go in. You want to fill it in, but you don't want it to bleed to the other one. It should be a little bit darker. Just fill that in. Like so. And his beak. Of the gray in. It's the beauty of drawing it. See, it's dried now. You can go in and add the much darker bluish gray, almost like black on the bottom here. Just like that. And then we're gonna play around with just adding some lines of that up in here. And his feet really dark too, like bluish black. Just fill in those little web feet. And 
again I'm going to add even darker color in here and on the neck and over here on the eye area you can see that oops cutting this off so see I went in back in here and I added some dark color I'm leaving a little white in here I'll go back in the beak here too get a little darker now for this part we're going to just wash in some simple strokes for his feathers and wings with the number eight My, I pat it on the paper towel just to get the excess off, but I'm just going to go like this. And put a little up here. I'm going to go back in here and add the darker tone right in the tip of his beak. It's a deep gray. And up here too. See, and I'm washing in just a little bit darker here on this thing. So you might have washed out some of the lines from your pen mark, but that's okay. It's just easier to paint the guy this way. So this is fairly dry. We can go back in and add some deeper tones under his feet. He's leaving a shadow under this little metal buckle thing. I don't know what you would call it. And then some streaks on the side. Just go down. See? Like that. You can even get even darker under here if you wanted to. More shadow. His feet need to get a little bit darker also. And under here. I might add more Prussian blue to that, just to you know, liven him up. He might not be blue, but let's give it a little deeper tone. And then the grays again here, just these little streaky lines. Same with the one over here. You can do some dry brushing. All right? And then the sand is still going to keep it fairly light, but I'm going to go back in get a little bit darker with that color tone. See, I add a little more water to the burnt number. Add some yellow. Might even add a little bit of gray. And I'm going to hold the brush kind of on its side. So it's a little dry brush technique. See? Not too much water. Gives a dry brush technique. And then down below here, turn my brush this way. Same thing. See, that's a technique. So you're missing some spots when you're painting it. It has a great look to it. I want to go back. I guess I just missed some of this over here. And the, put the blue here. Put some more blue again. Well, oh, that's a little too bright. Add some brown to that. To indicate there's water there also. And we still haven't done the sky yet. So <laughs> obviously we want to do that. So we're just playing around with the whole entire picture first. You could do either war. You could do the sky first. Now I want to keep the sky in a different tone than the aqua. I have this pretty ultramarine blue up here. I might mix it in with some of that peacock blue. But I want to change the sky color a little bit. Now for this sky, you could go ahead and wet on dry, but I'm going to wash in some water. And the water's already got a blue tint to it because it was on my brush. All around the pelican and the area. Use whatever brush that works for you that's kind of big. Now I'm going to add in some of the water paint. See, it's all like wet here. I'm washing it in with water and then I'm adding in the paint too. Just a couple of ways of just doing it. If you want to do masking fluid on the whole entire bird and then go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to grab this paint color. I'm just going to wash it up here going across. 
grab some more of it. See, I'm adding more water to that ultramarine and a little peacock. You can hold the paper up like this on an angle, like three fourths of an angle, and have it bleed down. Grab some more paint and some water. The color will bleed down. I have a little white next to the bird where I didn't hit with paint. There. It's not going to go where the water isn't, so. That. And you can wash in more paint color up here. Have a bleed. Get a little dark. I'm a little brown. Get funky with it. It can be bright, it can be dark. And keep it on the lighter side. Add a little more ultramarine blue going across. You can add clouds too if you wanted to. Um, you can remove it with a paper towel or use your brush. See, it's kind of a solid color now. If I wanted to add clouds, I could just tap my paper towel with my brush and then kind of remove it like this. See, kind of wiggle like that. Paint and then go tap it on the paper towel again. Just so it's light kind of cloud. Or you just want the paint to look lighter. There's a few ways to do it. Just really simple, right? And you can go and add more details in a bit. So I, I pretty much like what I'm seeing here. I might add a little touch of beige to the sand over here, even though it's white. Just a little bit. Right? So it doesn't look like this freaky white stripe. And if, like I said, if you want to make clouds really easy, just take a paper towel. You go and you can remove it. Remove the paint. Right? I didn't have clouds in my picture, but I can sure as heck take them and artistic liberty and put them in if I want. And I can make it darker again, still up here. Just by washing the color, letting it bleed down. And it will stop where the where it's dry. Again, go back in here. Adding in some color. See? Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Go back in and add some more color again, just kind of manipulating the paint. Having artistic liberty and fun with this. There were no clouds in the picture, but I felt like painting them. Okay, so at this point, you're almost done. You want to add little details, some again, some dark little wisps for the wings here. Um, more shadows on the pole that they're sitting on. Maybe here, because it wouldn't be light on this side. And a little shadow underneath this little circular metal thing. And then I would wait to let it dry, and then you can go back in and use the uh, fountain pen nib, which I'll show you in a minute. Oops. Actually, before I let it dry, see that's all just like this one solid color. I do want to go back in now that it's dry and add a little gray with my Grimbecker up in here because it wasn't just a solid like yellow beige. It had a little more color to it. It's just going to take out that weird solid color that I had. <laughs> And again, you can also get a little bit darker, again, still with the beach part. Don't have to keep it the same thing that I have. And then we'll let that dry and we'll do the fountain pen. Okay, after that's dry, I have this little fountain pen with a nib. 
kind of a mess here. I'll grab the stuff off of it. And you don't have to use this. You can just use like a, a pen that comes like this. I have a, a link to it on the description box. So, but I like the old fashioned kind of pen and ink nib ones. Be careful not to splatter it. It's good to test it out. And then I'll just go back, like I show you in some of my tutorials, and I'll just go back in and I'll paint around some of the areas we already drew just to give it that more sketchy, loose kind of look to it. See, I'm just going in and adding in the wings. And it can be flat, it's like thick and thin with the lines. That's why I love it so much. It makes, oops, see, I just splattered that, but then you know what? I kind of like that. Sometimes mistakes. Yeah, I did it again. <laughs> oh, great. I kind of wanted to be like a sketch, like I was observing the pelican as I was sitting there eating my lunch, which I was, and they kept on flying and sitting on these little poles. I'm putting a little feathers in here. And then I'll do the same, same thing with the foliage out here. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, you don't need to use a pen like this. It doesn't really matter. I just like the element of it. It has a really nice sketch quality to it. And then that's that. It's just really like a sketch of an observation. And then I removed my tape. P.S. the whistle. Let's see what we have. And we have our pelican painting. Voila. Kind of cute, right? Just an idea of something to paint. Um, you can paint a regular seagull on there. It doesn't have to be pelican. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Like, again, if you're a Patreon, you can just download the traceable. If not, I kind of showed you how to draw him. I think you guys can do it. Just think of the things in terms of shapes. He was like that smiley. Do a smile on the side. And smile on side up and side, side down and you do a curved line and down and these are straightforward rectangles and just lines across and just wishing and paint so but uh, like I said have any questions leave them in the comment section and take care guys happy painting <laughs>